Ah, ah, no, I've been changed. The angels in heaven sign my name. You know that I, ah, no, I've been changed. The angels in heaven done sign my name oh you don't believe that i've been redeemed you know the angels in heaven done sign my name oh follow me down to that old jordan stream the angels in heaven sign my name. You know that I, I know I've been changed. The angels in heaven sign my name. You know that I, I know. Changed. The angels in heaven sign my name. Hello, my witches, peeps, and family. It's your high priestess, your sister witch, Kathy. And I just played that song that I sang earlier I know I've been changed and you know I'm not of course LaShawn Price or anything but I sing in my way a lot of people they sing it their way that's the best way that you can sing it just sing it your way and you know what a lot of people may be asking hey happy Priestess Kathy what's going on with you uh, you're singing Bible songs, you know, gospel songs, and all that. What's going on with you? Well, my answer to that is that I have quite a few clients who are Christian, or they might not claim that they're Christian, but they go to church. They're in the church. So they enjoy uh, musicals, songs, uh, gatherings, you know, different things that the church does. So that song was for them, okay? Um, just showing some love to my people, my clients, my family who are in the church and who are into hoodoo, okay? Because uh, many of them come to me because they want root work. They want hoodoo work done, you know. They want to keep it, you know, in the alignment with God. They want to keep it in alignment with the Bible, even though they might want something darker. They might want some work, okay. But they want it in a structured way and I get that I totally understand it and I can tell you one thing the people my family that are Christian and church folks that come to me they know exactly how I am they know exactly how I believe and they accept me for me and so this has made me accept a lot of people who are in the church and Christian as well because believe it or not they need work done too you know they're fighting for their families they're fighting for their jobs they're fighting for money to come to them they're fighting for their marriages their relationships you know there's other people who are in the church that are doing work on other people who are in the church you know, many of you didn't know that, but yeah, it's true. And now that hoodoo is more out there these days and different things, a lot of people 
are going outside of the pastor and the minister to get help. And I get that. I totally get that. If you've been trying one thing and it's not working, then you need to do something different. You know, come to me. We could do something different, you know, to get your path going, to get your situation unblocked, whatever it may be. You know, I'll have my information in the description box. You know, you can contact me at highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com or highpriestesskathy at gmail.com. And you will need to make and book a consultation with me first. And that does cost, okay? But if you decide to get work done with me, what I usually do is after you've hired me, I will deduct the amount from the session that we've done from the work. So that'll give you a little discount. Now you have to remind me and say, Hi Priestess Kathy, can I have the discount? Okay, if you don't say anything about the discount, you don't get the discount, okay? That's just the way it goes. If you don't understand what I'm talking about, I have a video that I made, the reason why I charge for consultations, okay? Every spiritual reader or root worker or spellcaster has different ways that they do things. And also I wanted to touch upon that there's so many spiritual workers out there that says that, you know, you, you can't practice this and you can't practice that at the same time. You know what? You can have more than one path that you practice on. Like I've told many of you, some of you have started out doing Wicca. And then you become curious about voodoo, or you become curious about hoodoo, or you become curious about Satanism, you know, or uh, uh, working with Lucifer, you know, different aspects like that, black magic, whatever, you know, white magic, you know, Bible magic, whatever. Everyone has a different path that they go on. If you feel led or drawn to something, then you need to study and do the research on it, okay? And practice. You have to get your hands dirty in it, you know, especially if you're wanting to do it yourself. Now, if you're not wanting to do it yourself and you're afraid, then you do need to hire someone like me or you need to hire a skilled practitioner you know, a root worker to help you out, okay? But if you have the calling or, you know, you have that of being a practitioner, it's in your blood line, then, and if you want to do your own work, then these are the things that you need to do. You have to learn and read and study up and you have to get your hands dirty and start somewhere. You know, some things may not work out and there's some things you probably have to keep at it. So if you're a beginner, don't give up. If you're a beginner, then come to someone like me who's been around the block, who's been around for a while, and I know what I'm doing, you know, okay? And there's some younger people, they know what they're doing, you know? So take your time, use discernment, listen to your intuition, listen to the spirits, your ancestors, God, your deity, whomever that you're working with. And like I said, if you want to have me help you, okay? Because even in the Bible with the whole Bible magic thing, you know, and this video is for my Christian and church people. What I say before, even in the Bible, the book of spells, the Bible, it talks about when two or more are gathered, right? Right. So sometimes you do need help, you know? Sometimes you do need more than just yourself. If you need me, contact me at highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com or highpriestesskathy at gmail.com. And I look forward to helping you and being a service of you, service to you. 
And if you have any questions, then like I said, hit me up, all right? Bye-bye.